Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So I forgot to film an intro but it's really straightforward. You already know that I'm going to be reviewing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer and Foundation. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so first things first, we're going to start out with the NYX um, Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer and it's supposed to help your foundation go on smoothly and help keep your face matte which is good for me, I'm oily. So yes, I'm gonna put this on. This is really thick. And it says to pat it into your skin. All right, so I have my primer on my face and I'm just gonna go in with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Now this is not a first impression. I really wanted to use the foundation for at least two weeks before doing this video. Just because I think you get a more accurate and helpful review when it's not a first impression on a product. Cause you might find out, you might discover different ways to use it that work best for you. But we are gonna do a like all day wear test. All right, so now that I have it on, I'm going to blend with my Real Techniques foundation brush. I mean, the foundation is going on pretty nice. The times that I have used this foundation, I've used my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I really like that primer because it helps your makeup go on so smoothly. It just glides on and you get such an even application. And I mean, I just, that's my like go-to primer at the moment. But we'll see how this one works. I do have oily skin. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I get good results. So this is my face with the foundation applied and it looks fine. It applied pretty well with the with the Can't Stop Won't Stop primer. It doesn't look super matte, it looks shiny, but I'm gonna apply my powder and then I'm gonna come right back. So one moment. All right, you guys, so this is my full makeup. So when I first put the foundation on, it was looking a little orangey, but you know, when you do your concealer and your contour, then it just evens things out. So I like the color, I think the color's fine, but what I'm gonna do is give you guys all of my thoughts and opinions on this foundation and the primer once I come back in a couple of hours I don't know maybe hmm, it's okay so it is 154 right now so I'll come back in about four to six more hours and give you my final thoughts and opinions on the can't stop won't stop foundation and primer for NYX and um, then we'll just wrap up this video. So I'll be back in a few hours. All right, ladies and gents, I am back and this is my skin. It's now 6.30, um, I left here at 2.30, so it's been four hours and I've been walking around. I didn't go outside today, but I cleaned up and I definitely worked up a sweat doing that. So um, my face, is looking a little shiny but I did not blot the whole time and I did not powder my face the whole time um, and I don't think it's that bad I'm gonna blot right now I feel like my face isn't that oily though yeah my face is not that oily and I think my skin looks good okay so let's get to the bottom of this this was my first time using this um, primer and my face was not that oily just now like before I blotted it my face just was not that oily for four hours of wear so I would say this is a good primer I'm definitely gonna try it out a few more times um, and I can give an update down below in like the just in the comments or the description box 
So when talking about the foundation, it claims to be full coverage and to be a matte foundation. So examining this foundation, is it full coverage? Yes, it's definitely full coverage. Um, is it matte? I would say yes. It wasn't when I first put it on, it wasn't matte, but after I did my powder and I've been wearing it for four hours, my face is not that oily. It wasn't that oily before I blotted it. So I would say that this foundation is full coverage and it is matte. I have to say, this is like probably one of my better applications of this product, of this foundation, because it's not my first time using this. I told you guys before that this is not a first impression review. Um, I've worn this a few times in the past two weeks but when I put it on, I put it on like in the morning when I'm like getting ready for work. So, you know, I just like put it on, put my powder on and I was out the door just trying to get a feel for it um, and how it looked on my skin, if it worked for me. But today I took my time on my makeup. You know, I powdered my face nicely and this is like how I would wear my face for like a full coverage look. And I think it looks really good. I think it looks like the best. This is the best way I've got from this foundation out of my few times trying it before. So the color, I think the color is good. I think it's a little orange, but you know what? For me, my skin is uneven anyways, just all over. Like I'm like four different shades of brown. So I'm not complaining about the color. I think the color works for me. I'm content with it. I'll go with it. Um, and I do think this is the best suiting color for me out of their huge wide range of I don't know how many shades of this foundation, but this is definitely the best um, suiting color for me. It was affordable. I can't exactly remember, remember how much it was, but I will um, put down how much it is in the corner or in the screen somewhere. So do I like this foundation? I do, I do, I like it. I think it's a really good foundation for drugstore. I think the color is good. I think it's matte, it lasts long. It is full coverage, which I like full coverage foundation. And yeah, I just, I, I'm into it. I like this foundation. I think it's a good alternative. Um, so I give it a thumbs up. So the judgment is yes on the foundation and yes on the primer. Um, but I am gonna give this a few more wears to make sure that it's a solid yes. And I can leave an update in the description box or the comments. All right, you guys, so after a few more wears of the primer, I came to the conclusion that I like it. I give it a thumbs up. I feel like it does help control my oiliness and keeps my face matte. Now I have oily skin, so my face is going to get oily regardless, but I do feel like it's effective in the way that it helps my makeup stay in place and intact when I do blot my face, when it gets to that point of needing to blot my face. So those are my thoughts on the primer. If you've tried it before, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I think I said everything I need to say about the foundation, but if you have any other questions, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer. And you guys, I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. So I want to say thank you so much for you guys who have been watching, especially, you know, since I first started this little channel. So just stay tuned for like my next video or two i'm definitely going to have something planned for that yeah just thank you so much that pretty much wraps up this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a comment down below give a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i think that's it so i will see you all next time bye